All right, uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is uh, 7.45 in the evening on Friday, November 13th, Friday the 13th. So uh, we finally got the quake that we were wait, waiting for last night, <coughs> uh, late last night uh, and early this morning on the 13th at around uh, 1 I believe it was about one one in the morning, and uh, that was a, originally reported as a 5.5. Was felt in uh, East Central California and West Central Nevada, and uh, so that was the earthquake we were waiting for. And now things have uh, quieted down a little bit, and we're going to do a review of the current situation across. Uh, all of our forecasts uh, around the world, we have like uh, 17 or 18 different forecasts. We're going to start with uh, Alaska. But first, uh, let's uh, do the review with California once more. We had a, uh, a 5.3, 4.3, 4.3, 3.4, 3.4, .3 and a bunch of uh, aftershocks with that strong earthquake out in East Central and West Central Nevada, East Central California. And uh, so now we're waiting for the next quake to happen. But let's go around the, around the world. Uh, over at quakeprediction.com, you'll see we have many different forecasts. The Alaska forecast that I'm looking at right now, uh, a 4.0 or larger could occur in the eastern portion of Alaska. And out in Hawaii, there's a moderate risk in uh, southern Hawaii. Moderate risk there in southern Hawaii. And then um, out in Washington, the, whisk, the risk is um, pretty low across the Washington, Oregon, and uh, Idaho. You can see that by clicking on uh, Seattle, Washington forecast. And uh, But this area, during the next week, we're going to watch this very closely. Uh, a strong earthquake is, is likely during the next week or so, but we'll keep you updated as, that, as we get closer to that quake. And uh, over in Athens, Greece, in Greece uh, and uh, western Turkey and Albania, looks like the risk is more down near Crete, with a 60% risk down in southern Greece near Crete. And in Central America, the risk is more up in uh, uh, the southern portion of Mexico into western Guatemala. And that's pretty significant, maybe a a 4 or 5.0 quake is likely in that area. And down in uh, Chile, in our Chile forecast, uh, there's a 75% risk in uh, central Chile, north of uh, Santiago. And all these forecasts, you can look over at quakeprediction.com to, uh, to look at these forecasts. Uh, the one I'm looking at right now is uh, the Cyprus uh, forecast and has Israel and Lebanon in there as well and there's a 70% risk in uh, the southern Mediterranean there and over to Ecuador the Ecuador forecast is very light uh, risk very low risk across the Ecuador and uh, as we look into the Indonesia forecast in the far north far northwest of Jakarta in uh, Western Indonesia, there's a 65% chance uh, risk there. So not all that high in that area as well. In Italy, pretty low risk across Italy. 35% risk in the far south of Italy. Uh, New Zealand, now that's a different uh, picture altogether. Uh, New Zealand, we're looking for a significant earthquake to occur in uh, northern New Zealand uh, during the next uh, 48 hours. So watch for that. Northern New Zealand, we should get a, a, a significant earthquake in northern New Zealand. The uh, Japan forecast, uh, most of the risk is in the far, far northeast portion of, uh, of Japan and in the Philippines. Now the Philippines, the risk is beginning to uh, be quite significant by uh, November 14th and 15th. Um, just east of Manila in uh, northern Philippines. So please look at that forecast. That's quite significant. And the Peruvian forecast, the Peru forecast, 
quite low risk across, uh, moderate risk across the southern portion of Peru. And in Taiwan, the risk is much lower than it was earlier. I believe it's down to like 50% or lower in the far south of Taiwan. And once again, I, I think that the highest risk in all of our forecasts across the world right now is in New Zealand. And you can click on uh, that over at quakeprediction.com. Uh, we could see a 5.0 or larger across northern New Zealand during the next uh, 48 hours. So thanks again for watching at quakeprediction.com. Be sure to subscribe to our videos. We really appreciate that. And um, once again, we did get our earthquake we were looking for in California, 5.3, originally a 5.5 in East Central California. Uh, please stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on all earthquakes coming to California and many areas of the world as well. So thank you so much.